Let's move into main topic number two. And our second main topic today gets submitted to us by Marcus Penna, who writes, Hey, John, uh, U.S. Congress just passed the $900 billion stimulus package, and included in that is an upwards of $15 billion in funding for the movie theaters and other live entertainment venues. Is it a little too little too late? What are your thoughts? Okay, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yes, one of the big topics of conversation in our movie spheres for the last year has obviously been the survival prospects or lack thereof of the movie theater industry. We talked just a couple of weeks ago about the fact that AMC has announced that they're probably going to run out of money in January. They need like $700 million pronto to get this, to keep everything afloat and keep things moving. We've seen since that time, Rob, we've seen Disney say that they are committed to theatrical releases of a bunch of their films. We just heard actually the Russo brothers. This is something we didn't talk about in the Russo brothers story. The Russo brothers new movie is going to be done with universal, but they made universal agree that it will have a regular traditional theatrical release. That was something that the Russo brothers insisted on, which applause to them for doing that. So we're seeing all the, the, the backlash on Warner brothers, all that kind of stuff. It's given some people like myself who love the theater going experience, just a glimmer of hope, maybe not a ton of it, but at least a glimmer of hope. Well, now there has been this stimulus package that has come out and a bunch of money is being dedicated to movie theaters and other live event sort of things. This comes to us from Movie Maker Magazine, who writes, The $900 billion stimulus deal reached in Congress on Sunday includes roughly $15 billion in aid for struggling movie theaters, live venues, and other cultural institutions, a lifeline for businesses shut down for, mo for months by COVID-19. The so-called Save Our Stages provision includes $15 billion in dedicated funding for live venues, independent movie theaters, and cultural institutions. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Democratic Leader Chuck Schumer said in a statement, More help is on the way, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said, as he announced the deal on the Senate floor. Rob, you and I have talked before about whether or not movie theaters should be getting any type of aid and and both i believe both you and i believe the answer to that is yes this is not a situation where like movie theaters were just badly run and they ran themselves in the ground this was a global unforeseen pandemic that shut everything down and the economy of movie theaters and how many people they employ and the auxiliary businesses connected with them which you often point out so accurately um this is not a small amount of money. Now, it should be made clear here that $15 billion is not all going to the movie theaters. They're going to get a portion of that. But it seems like it's definitely going to be enough money for like AMC that seems to be in the worst situation out of all the movie theaters. It seems like it's going to be more than enough to keep them afloat and running, at least for the foreseeable future, uh, however limited that is. Rob, obviously for the movie theaters, this is good news, but is it too little too late? Is this something that could keep the theaters afloat at least for a while longer? I, I don't know. What's your interpretation of this? How do you see it? Well, I look, I look at uh, movie theaters are a, there's a number of things happening here. Uh, movie theaters provide something that's been a cultural touchstone for Americans for over a hundred years. They employ people from, as we've talked about, not just the people that work at the movie theaters, but the people that supply the movie theaters, the people that work in restaurants and things that are around the movie theaters, the parking structures that allow you to park your car near a movie theater. There's a huge ecosystem of businesses and economic impact that are part of all of this. And I think that like any other business, I think having stimulus like this is important. And a lot of people think, oh, Hollywood needs to be bailed out. Well, aside from the glamor and the glitz and uh, all the stuff we hear about celebrities, uh, movie theaters, exhibition is a business. There's no red carpets if you run a movie theater unless somebody decides to rent your theater out for a red carpet event. These are, these are, these are businesses with not big margins that a lot of people, a lot of independent theater owners are running. And of course the chains, that's their job. And I think they're as valid as any other business to get this kind of stimulus. And uh, I think it's important. And while it might not solve everyone's problems, maybe it'll keep a business that everybody likes and hopes that will come back. Yeah, and I think that's the key here is that 
this game, while things have definitely not looked good for the theaters lately, especially with the Warner Brothers announcement, this again, I don't want to be misinterpreted. I'm not saying this is good. This is the turning point. Everything's going to go the movie theaters way now. I'm not saying that in the least. No. Don't don't misinterpret me. But with the amount of backlash that Warner Brothers has gotten from the entire industry, with the upcoming court cases being brought against them by not only Legendary, but some directors as well, with the fact that Disney seems to, at least for now, saying they're still committed to, to putting out theatrical experiences, with the Russo brothers having Universal commit to a traditional theatrical thing, and now with this lifeline, this financial lifeline, to keep them afloat, I, again, I just call it a light, a potential, some potential hope. Not, not that this fixes everything. Not that this means two years from now we're still going to have the movie theaters. But I think this gives it more hope than it did the other day. We'll have to see how it ultimately turns out. Question is, guys, what do you think about this? I think this is good news for the theaters. How do you guys feel about it? Jump down into the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys. 